we have just less than two weeks until the first beta for Marvel's Avengers. Now, with the upcoming beta, I'm actually seeing a lot of questions on the channel and there's a fair amount of confusion about how the beta access will actually work and is there anything you need to do in advance to ensure you do get access to the beta and there actually is. So that's what we will discuss in this video and we'll talk about what you need to do and the differences between if you ordered the physical or the digital version of the game. So let's dive in and let's run over everything you need to know to make sure you'll be all set for day one. Starting off then with the physical copy, when you would have actually purchased this, you would have provided your email address, and this is where the beta code will be sent to. We don't know how far in advance it will be sent for the actual beta, but imagine once the first codes start going out, there'll be a lot of fanfare and there'll be a lot of posts on Reddit and on Twitter discussing that. So do make sure to check your email, make sure to check your junk and your spam email, because generally emails such as that will get put there. In regards to the digital copy of the game, so if you bought it through the PlayStation or Xbox Store, or if you bought it on Steam, you are logged in to your account, so the beta will actually be linked to that. So there's nothing extra you need to do there. However, there is one final step you need to do for both the digital and physical versions of the game, and that's what we're going to run over now. This final step then is one that I can see causing a lot of headaches on the day the beta does go live, because I imagine a lot of people will be trying to access this site. It's a site where you actually register for a Square Enix account because you will need that to access the game. Now, there is a link to that site in the description below, so you just click on that, it'll bring up the following page you can see here. It's all self-explanatory. You can actually log in using your Facebook or your Steam credentials, or you can sign up using your specific email address, and you'll be entering your password, your username, and you're choosing your country and region as well. So once you're actually registered with that account, that will allow you to log in with the physical version of the game once the beta goes live. If you're using the digital version, there's one further step we still need to do. For this final step then, you want to make sure you're actually fully registered, you log into your account, up the top right you've got a little icon where you would normally see your avatar. Now if you click on that, and then you want to click on linked accounts, from there you'll be taken into this page here, and this allows you to actually link up your account to the pre-order version of the game you've bought. So if it's on Xbox, it's on PlayStation, or it's on Steam, you are able to do that. And yes, I've actually purchased the game on both Steam and PlayStation Network. Reason being, I've got a pretty nice PC at the moment, so I'm hoping I can play it in really high settings, hopefully 4K, 60 frames, fingers crossed. But I also want to get early access to the, the beta to check it out, so I've went ahead and I bought both versions so I can try it out in PlayStation 4 a week early because the beta is coming out on PlayStation 4 on August the 7th and then it comes out on PC and Xbox on August the 14th. But that's everything you have to do before the beta actually goes live, so make sure to get on that site ASAP and get registered because once again I imagine it's going to be a pretty busy site and there'll be a lot of problems with it on the launch day for the beta. But not long to go, getting pretty pretty excited now. Let me know what you think in the, the comments below how excited you are for the game and let me know if you need any help with this process and thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and I'll see you all again soon.